Hey guys, and welcome back to Panzer Dragoon. When we last left off, we completed the episode, the second episode, I should say. Uh, we did pretty well. We've got three credits total. Uh, hopefully, we won't have any in more interruptions with the chaos kit is, but that remains to be seen. Anyway, episode three, let's do this. Now, I can't remember which one episode three was, because, you know, memory and all that. Memory, motherfucker. Do you have it? No, not really. But I do have coffee, which is good. Coffee's better than memory anyway. Ugh. See what I mean about the Switch loading? I mean, this game isn't exactly what I would call uh, intensive. But it is what it is, I suppose. Right, let's go. Ah, yes. This is a pretty cool area. Oh, it looks like they're starting us off with one of these things straight away. Before he yeets the fuck out of here. Let's take him down. Although, I think... Oh, God, look at those orange balls of justice wound their way towards us. Yeah, he's had enough. He's gone. You can get out of here, too. He's smoking. Uh, evasive maneuvers, boys. As you can see, our health has not returned from the last mission. Oh, uh, maybe it... Maybe you get a little bit more? I'm not sure. Whoa! Incoming orange balls of death. Kind of interesting. Also gonna... Oh, shit. Can't shoot those bad boys down. Get out of here, dude. Right, we're gonna go through the cannonball run. Which is what I was calling this level. Not really sure if that's what it's actually called. Gonna say probably not. Actually assault the village here. Oh, He's done. He's had enough. He's out of here. Now this is like a weird mining village. This is cool. I mean, I don't know. I guess this is like the evil uh, empire's mining village. Makes sense, right? These look like... Uh, just like little wagons, you know. Taking supplies to their city. Kind of feels a bit rough to just be murdering them. But hey, you know, better than better them than us, right? Now, what else can we destroy in this place? Everything. Got cannons everywhere. You know what these remind me of? These remind me of those uh, ye olde uh, wagons that you see in westerns. Kind of similar vibe going on here. Alright, let's burn this place to the ground anyway. Hey friends, I don't think these actually attack you, or if they do, I've never seen it, even on hard. Okay, good stuff. Good sweep, good sweep. These look like weird cannon cars. Again, don't know if these shoot you, probably, if they get too close. Not really sure, to be honest. Oh god, something's shooting me. Yeah, it might be them. There are two hidden away in this little alcove here. Little bastards. Get wrecked. Nothing can stop Blue Dragon. Actually, that was a good game, Blue Dragon. Alright, these suck. These missile turrets here. Oh, they really hurt as well. But that's okay. We can just kind of go under them, more or less. Yeah, not sure why we can't... Wait... Wait! Wait! My mind has been blown! I did not know that when we change the camera angle, we could zoom in and out. Like so. I did not know that, guys. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, these things drop bombs on us. They're like bouncing bombs. World War II style. They suck. They bounce right up into our line of fire. Definitely am um, enjoying this techno-punk kind of uh, atmosphere of this game as well. But why does Sega just abandon these franchises? I don't know. Was it because this was a Saturn game? A, a series on the Saturn? So they just said, oh, Saturn, bad. Saturn, bad. I did not know we could zoom in and out. That's interesting. Alright. Ah, yes. Prototype Imperial Assault Ship. 
This boss actually got me first time I played it. I was, I was thinking, how the hell do we deal with this guy? But, oh God. Actually, fairly straightforward, to be honest. We can't attack him yet. I mean, we can shoot him, but we can't do any damage until he's set up. Got another half coming. I can't believe we can zoom out. What the hell? That changes the dynamic so much. We still can't avoid attack like that. Oh, God. Right, concentrate. Don't get excited about the fact that you found something new. So you go up and over. Up and over the blades. Up and over, boys. Yep, yeah, you can hear my cat meowing to himself. Not sure why he's meowing. Maybe he's hungry. He's had his breakfast. Meow! What's going on, boy? Right. Now, then there were two. We have to take this this chunk on next. Again, you know, it's not too complicated. Do you have to wait for him to land again? Yeah, <laughs> he's singing the song of his people out there. I don't know why. Oh my god, this has blown my mind, the fact that we can zoom out. So I guess they... Could you zoom out on the original? I don't know certainly makes hitting some targets a little bit easier because you can see way more of the battlescape. Right, let's lock this guy up. Let's lock this guy up. Halfway to death. Sounds like a very shitty uh, metal album. Uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Get off the desk, please. Thank you. Right, let's continue. Yeah, he was being really quiet before I started recording. I was like, oh, he's probably going to be a good little boy. Nope. Nope. Ooh. Ooh. Dodge those blades. Dodge those blades. Duck and weave. Duck and weave. Come on. There we go. Let's unleash the damage on this guy. So you can see these blasts don't do a lot of damage it, it really is the um, homing laser where it, that's where it's at that's where the damage comes in I'm hoping we've caused enough destruction and death to get the full life bonus get out of here boy get out of here son you're not ready solo wing has your ass oh guess there it's escape pods now if this is the level that I believe it is where you're in a dark tunnel me no likey me do not like at all come on come on come on enemy oh yeah we get a double double life for this for sure 99 dude we missed one enemy ah oh, savage Never mind. Episode 4. Now hopefully this uh, LP will fill in the gaps whilst I think about what to do with Outbreak. We'll put that to the Discord uh, later after this video, I think. Yeah, I didn't get time to duck into the Discord yesterday because I literally spent the whole day trying to figure out and learn how to use um, DaVinci. Which is free editing software. Which is better than the Sony, Ve well, Magic Vegas that I actually pay for. You believe that? So, very happy with those results. Ah, oh, good. Both the cats are kind of sleeping. Oh, no. I hate this level. I am not a fan of this level at all, guys. As you can see, there's almost no space to maneuver at all here. And the enemies do crazy amounts of damage to you. This one is savage. It's not a very long mission, and the boss is a bit of a joke. But the enemies themselves start doing some serious amounts of damage to you which is not great they come from behind they come in front of you they're all over the place you're gonna have eyes in your asshole here 
And these things. Oh, these things. They don't seem too bad. But if they get a lock on you, they really sting. Oh, hit the deck. There we go. Blaze through the pain. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, these things. Very hard to avoid their fire. And they will kill you in seconds. Actual seconds, these things. Even on normal difficulty, these things hurt. On hard, they are savage. Okay, we're just going to keep keep ducking and weaving, ducking and weaving. Keep that adrenaline going. Oh, not good. Those things aren't too bad until they open up. Oh, my God. Wow, they hurt. Yeah, they hurt. Even when you do everything you can to get out of their line of fire, sometimes they just still seem to hit you. Oof. They are naughty little bastards, as we like to say around these parts. Oh, Jesus Christ. I think our rider's got a load in his pants right about now. Can't blame him. Alright, now the descent into madness. Yeah, these things will fire a laser at you that doesn't do anything. But once they've locked onto you for X amount of time, they'll fire another bolt that does insane amounts of damage. There we go. Yeah. If you let that laser hit you, that's kind of like a targeting laser. And then there's another one that will really hurt. Come on, boys. Welcome to the party. You're the main guest. Or well, you're the main event, I should say. Boom. Piñatas. Okay. I'm not doing terrible at the moment. Would like a little bit more life, just so we've got more to carry over to the next uh, mission. Because after this mission, this is where the game starts uh, getting a little bit naughty, shall we say. But there's so much shit coming at you, it's hard to even know what the hell's going on. Ah, yes. This is the bit where the doors don't work. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, poof, oh. Oof. Sweats. We got the sweats. Jeez. Now, this game in VR would be pretty something, I think. I think that would be fun. I think we're almost on the boss, actually. Yes, there he is. Wake up, bitch. Come on, my friend. No time to be sleeping. We got a duel to the death. Guardian. Wake up, samurai. Alright, come on, friend. Not a lot of space to maneuver in here, let me tell you. Now I know that we can zoom out, though. Kind of curious if the next levels might be a little bit easier. Yeah, so he'll kind of try and bitch slap you, so you've got to be careful of that. But that's okay. Now, this is an enemy, actually, where the actual normal blast mode on the gun isn't terrible. Oh, God. Yep. Yeah. I keep forgetting, when you're looking behind, you can't, you can't avoid attacks. You can only maneuver the dragon when you're looking directly ahead, which I still don't like that. Yeah, he's going to try and bitch slap us out of the air. Have to try harder than that, me laddo. Much harder than that. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, God. Here it comes. Sucker punch me. Okay, keep rolling with the punches. Rolling with the punches. Damn, he's fast. He's fast. Now, luckily... Oh, that would actually really freaking hurt, but we can avoid it because we're looking forwards. Now, the only way you can really defend yourself when looking behind is you have to uh, shoot down the projectiles. But luckily, the game does know this. So, you have way fewer projectiles coming at you. Oh, that hurt. That really hurt. Yeah, you have a lot less coming at you from behind. It is manageable in that regard. Oh god, I didn't even see that one coming at me there. 
Come on, baby. Come on. It's down to almost half health. Might I remind you, if you die, that's it. you got to start the level again from scratch. Whoa, dude. You savage little monkey, you. Look at him. Thinking he's Maverick or something. I can assure you, you're just Iceman. Oh, jeez. Concentrate. <laughs> Concentrate. The concentration is extreme. Oh, God. Almost lost a testicle with that one. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, no. Ow. Ow. This is getting close. This is way too close for comfort. There we go. One arm gone. With one arm gone, he becomes significantly easier. Yep, another arm gone. Oh boy. Now he's got this really savage laser tracker. And this laser, that hits you, it hurts. It really hurts. But that ain't a problem, because he's out of here. What is a problem is the amount of health we've got left for the next mission. That is a problem. Honestly, the fact that we don't get a health top up between missions is the hardest part of the game. Ooh, funky colours. So yeah, we are on the the forest world next. Yeah, the forest world is hard. <sighs> hey boys. I want one of those blasters, man. They're awesome. But you can see how short these missions actually are. They're really short. Please get the double life bonus. Maybe? Maybe? Alright. We've got seven credits. Okay. Seven credits we can work with. Uh... Although the fact that we have literally um, no health at all is an issue. That is going to sting us in the ass, trust me. Get loaded up with caffeine. Now, I'm not sure uh, if on the easier difficulties, if you get a little health top up at the start of each stage. I don't know. I've never played it on easy and on normal. Ever. Well, normal only played once. So I've had four playthroughs by the time I complete this and three of them have been on hard. So I don't know. This is going to be bad. I mean, there's no way to actually even... Oh, no, look at that. You kind of do. You get like half your health back. Which is better than I thought, if I'm being honest. Yep, we're being hit already. Come on, baby. There we go. Oh, God. Okay, that's good to know. So you do get a little health boost at the end. I didn't think you did. Right, we need to be on the ball here. Because this level just throws everything at us. Come on. There we go. You can see the enemies just. I would like to get this on a more powerful system. Just to see how much of a difference that makes, to be honest. Which I may do. Or I might just wait until, you know, Switch Pro or whatever, it, whatever it's called comes out. Come on. Now these things are both going to be shooting at us. Which really sucks, because you've got to kind of look at everything at once. Which isn't really in the realms of possibility. Being a lowly human. Oh man, they're everywhere. Yeah, you can see this is where things are going to get really bad. Okay, we're good, we're good. We're not going to get a very good life bonus, if any, on this level. But it is what it is. Ah, you see, we're down. We're down, son. 
Now those black bombs that they shoot at us. I'm going to be honest. When they're coming at you, I can't see them. I can't see those black bombs. This is one of the problems that I had with this level uh, when I first did it. I cannot see those until they hit us. Which, I, I don't know if that's a problem with the Switch version. I'm not sure. But trying to see what scenery and what's an attack coming at you is really hard. I think they should have just stayed with the old, um, you know, brightly coloured projectiles. Because that, to me, just makes sense. Having projectiles that you really can't see is kind of an anus move. I get the feeling that this probably was at least somewhat developed to be a bit of an arcade game. Whether it was or not, I have no idea. This would have been fucking rad in the arcades. Can you imagine that? With like an actual chair that moves and everything, kind of like the Afterburner arcade. Uh, that would have been awesome. But as far as I know, which admittedly is very little, uh, this was never in the arcades. There we go. Now, obviously, this is a game that also really benefits from multiple playthroughs, which is why I wanted to just get on and do it now, whilst the game's somewhat fresh in my head. Right, one down. Come on. There we go. He's gone. Oh, missed those shots. Now, we need to try and take out the bony kind of doodads above him. Not sure why we're not locking on here. Oh god. Here we go. Here we go. This is where the fuck factor starts going crazy. Yep. Definitely want to avoid as much of this shit as we can. Oof. Yep. Coming in from the bottom with those big bombs of theirs really hurts. You can see how much damage they've already done. Oh man, you suck, you suck sir, you suck large quantities of ass, ah, a moment's peace, yeah we've seen these guys before haven't we, oh but this one, this one has rapid fire, and he has friends, which also deal a crazy amount of damage to us. Right, let's see if we can take him down. He's gone. Ooh. So we've got like a mini... This guy's like a mini boss. He's really a pain in the ass. You have to just attack these weird bony fragments on the top of them. But you see these guys down here. These are... Annoying mine laying things. And they will shoot those weird black bombs. Oh no, those things these things explode. Yeah. They explode in a big way. They do some kind of like firestorm attack on you. Which really does yeah, like that. And you just see all those all those explosive yellow lines coming at us. Long story short, basically, is there's just so much coming at you. It really is hard to keep track of it all. But that's, you know, the fun of it too, don't get me wrong. Now we have more of those mines. Ugh, okay. Alright, let's take this guy out. Yeah, we've got two of these mini battleships. And then we have the motherfucker himself. God damn, see how much of a pounding these guys take. Yep, okay. Nice try, dude. Now we can only lock one shot onto this thing at once, which is a pain. There we go, he's done. Look at this thing. Oh yes. This is the boss for this level. It's a giant like city in the sky. And it is really hard to avoid all these shots. Okay, so we're going to just have to take this thing out section by section. Using our rapid fire. Come on. 
Yeah, one down. Oh man, that hurts. Can we? There we go. We can actually kind of zoom out. That zoom out does actually help a little bit. Come on, spamming the button so hard. Ah, Jesus. Right. I mean, I guess it helps zooming out a little bit, but not much. There we go. Just need to rapid fire spam attack. Oof. But wait, there's more. Yeah, you didn't think it was going to be that easy, did you? Come on. Right, what's next? This is a cool enemy. I do like it. Now he shows us his ass. Which we can shoot the hell out of. With our blaster. Now, there's another thing that we can hit on him as well. Which is where he's spawning these weird missile things, but we don't need to really concentrate on that. Oh no, maybe we can't hit that. Maybe we have to hit this bit here. I thought we could attack that little bay as well. Maybe not. Nice. He is done, son. And that's a very satisfying ending there. Now, we don't have a lot of health. Oh, no. There's no way. We might get one credit if we're lucky. Oh, no, we don't. Not on hard. Not on hard. The game says no. Now, I think we need to get 90% in that case to get one credit. And then, like, uh, I don't know, 95, is it, maybe, to get two credits on hard? I'm not sure. Anyway, guys, that's going to have to do it for now. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And as always... Till next time.